In the past few videos, I've been building this Honda Civic, which once looked like this. It's hard to believe it's the same car, right? This car has had a crazy transformation, and really there's not a whole lot more that can be done to it. But don't worry, the fun don't stop there. I've got a new engine to go in this before it goes anywhere. So I think it's about time I started another build on this channel. And here in the UK, we are now heading into our summer. And what better car can you be driving in the summer than an E36 convertible? I think it's safe to say that this car is in an absolute state. It's got no mirror. The bonnet looks like it's been used as a trampoline. It's got no badge, grills, or fog lights. It's got a little bit of rust at the bottom of the door, but considering this age, it's not that bad. The roof's absolutely covered in mold, and it's got a hole in it. And it looks like someone's tried to open the boot of a crowbar, which is concerning. And the interior is absolutely disgusting. But listen, you all saw how the Civic looked when I first got it, and that turned out pretty decent. So I think it's about time we gave this car a complete transformation as well. This car has been abandoned for years so I've got no idea if it runs or drives or anything works. But don't worry, we'll be finding out if this car starts or not in today's video. Fingers crossed. <laughs> but before I do anything, this car needs a proper clean because at the moment it is covered in bird poo. <laughs> but before I tackle this absolute mess of a car, I'm off to a car show. I'm sure a lot of you would have heard of DMO DJ. Well, this is his show, DMAX 250, which is hosted at Santa Pod, which has got a quarter mile drag strip, which this jet car done in about five seconds. There was so many crazy fast cars and bikes. And this has to be the fastest golf I think I've ever seen. And just to show you how fast that actually is, this is me taking my Civic down there in the last video. This guy took his McLaren down there. When have you ever seen two Rolls-Royce Cullinghams drag racing? This had to be the biggest flex of the whole day. I think I might have spoke too soon. There were some of the coolest cars in the UK on show. Including this Liberty Walk McLaren and Liberty Walk Ferrari. Imagine how brave you have to be to take a grinder to a supercar. And someone remade Hans RX-7, Dom's Charger and the famous Supra. These were sick. And there was an F1 car and plenty of drift cars. And this Mark 1 Golf had a turbo BMW engine in it. Officially gassed beautiful DC5. I do love an E30. And this E36 looks like it means business. I want an F80 M3 so badly. This R34 was unreal. And this one. If this isn't how me and my missus are pulling up to Tesco's in the future, then I ain't interested. <laughs> and the new M4 is really starting to grow on me. What do you all think of it? This was genuinely one of the best car shows I've ever been to. And it was on a Tuesday midweek. DMO, fair play. What an insane show D-Max was, and maybe one day I'll be able to host a show of my own. But before we get started on the E36, which I promise we will, I have got a huge announcement. I think it's safe to say that I've definitely outgrown this unit. There's cars everywhere, there's rubbish everywhere, there's just nowhere to put anything. And when it comes to working on cars in here, there's just no room down either side of the car, and there's definitely no room to put a ramp in here. And yeah, if I only had one car in here, this unit would be plenty big enough, but I haven't got one car, and it's not big enough. And I think there's only one solution for this problem. Say hello to the new unit. <laughs> I honestly cannot put into words how excited I am to have this unit. It is so sick. I've been hunting for a new unit for quite a while, so when this one popped up, I couldn't say no. It used to be owned by a car detailer, so the lighting is crazy good. And it's got a room to keep all the car parts, so I'm not tripping over them anymore. And it even has an office. And with all this space means that I can put a ramp there and a ramp in the corner, which means there's no more working on the floor. Yes. But like I've said many times before, I'm really trying to make something out of this YouTube thing. And if that means I need to get a bigger unit with more space so I can upload more content and better content for you all, well, it's a no-brainer for me. And I think it's about time we moved in. This unit has served me well for about two years, but I think it's about time I upgraded. I think this could be the longest part of the whole procedure. I am definitely not looking forward to putting these back up in unit. That's all the Hot Wheels off the wall. It's time to pull all the cars out, starting with my dad's E36. Then the Civic. And then my E36, which hasn't been moved in over a year. Poor thing. I then remembered that I put a new battery on this before I took it off the road. So in theory, it should start. Let's find out. A little bit of hesitation, but imagine if someone tried waking you up after a year of sleeping. 
I love this car so much and seeing it parked next to the Civic sort of shows me how far I've actually come and that if you put your mind to it, you can achieve anything. And after a quick food break, it was time to clear the rest of the unit out. I didn't realize how much stuff I actually had. And this ramp was the previous owners, but don't worry, I'm gonna be putting a ramp in this unit. It's time to start moving in, starting with the desk and the toolbox. It's time to bring the cars in, starting with my E36. How cool does it look under this lighting? And then the Civic, and don't worry about that back wall, that's gonna get painted in a second. And last but not least, my dad's E36. And as I mentioned, this unit has an office, which I'm gonna be spending a lot of time in, so I wanna make it look nice in here, because at the moment, that carpet is disgusting. So I pulled it all up, and then I had my mate Ryan lay a new carpet. Then me and my dad put a new light in, and how much better does this office look now? And before we put the desk in, we decided to paint it black, because it would look so much nicer than the old wood. Honestly, 10 year old me would be geeking out if he saw this right now. Because I've always wanted to do YouTube and now I've got a bigger unit with an office to do it in. Honestly, it just isn't real to me. And then last but not least, Dad finished painting the back wall black. Much better. So I think it's safe to say that the new unit is starting to look sick. But I think it's about time that we made this 36 look less Let's abandoned. Now it's definitely no secret that I hate cleaning cars, so I left this up to Brandon from Ace Detailing to work his magic. I'm gonna be changing most of the body panels on this car and the roof, but I just wanted it to look good for today's video. And he also gave the Civic a quick clean. And as this car's been sat for so many years in the sun, rain, in all different weathers, I knew it was never going to come out in showroom condition. But I've got a solution to sort that. But in the meantime, I never realised how nice this colour actually was. But who'd shout out to Ace Valentin for making the 36 go from this to this. So it looks 10 times better, but there is still so much wrong with this car. And before I try and get this car started, Brandon gave the driver's seat a quick clean because it was covered in mold and it was absolutely disgusting. And no, we didn't do the rest of the interior because the whole interior is gonna be getting changed. Now the seat's got no mold on it. Let's find out if this car actually starts. Because at the minute, when I put the key in and turn it, there's no lights on the dash at all. So there's either no battery or the battery's dead. Let's find out. Which leads me on to the next problem. When I tried to open the boot, it just would not open. And I guess that explains why it looks like it's been opened with a crowbar at some point. So I tried moving the roof trim back to see if it'd give me enough clearance to open the boot, and it didn't. And after a bit of persuasion, I got it open. And just as I thought, there's no battery in there. So let's whack a battery in it and see if we can get it to start. That's the new battery in. Fingers crossed it starts. Right, it's the moment of truth. <laughs> Nothing. Brilliant. Back to the drawing board. <laughs> so I thought maybe the battery was dead, so I tried jump starting it, and this didn't work. So my only other option was to try and bump start it. This car's already really testing my patience. <laughs> so about 400 tries and three heart attacks later, it finally worked. No. <laughs> and seeing it run and drive for the first time is such a hood relief. And we quickly realised that there is a lot that doesn't work on this car, but we're going to get into that in the next few videos. And yeah, of course, the first thing we did was put the roof down. I feel like such a hairdresser. <laughs> but let's put it straight in the unit because I have no idea how long this car hasn't run for. I'll be honest, I am not a huge convertible fan, and I'm doing this car to see if I can change my own mind. But how good does it look under the new lighting? So there is plenty of issues to sort on this car, but before I do anything, I wanna make it look like a complete car. So first things first, it's missing a wing mirror, so let's get that put on. And the next thing I'm missing is obviously kidney grills, which I decided to try something different, and I went with some M4 style kidney grills. You ain't even gonna believe this. They're the wrong ones. See, now I'm just confused. This car is a pre-facelift E36, and these are pre-facelift grills, but they don't fit. 
So I'm guessing at some point this car has had a facelift nose cone put on it. So I found some facelift grills that came out of my dad's E36 and they went straight in. Cheers dad. Slowly but surely it's starting to look like a complete car. I think it's safe to say that this car needs a lot of work, but look what I did with the Civic, so I think it's time to do it again. But boys and girls, that's going to be it for today's video. Make sure you let me know in the comments what you want to see done to the E36. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you'll be notified when I upload the next video on this car, because in the next video, I'm going to be getting stuck right into it. And make sure you smash that like button if you like the new unit, but boys and girls, I'll catch you in the next video. You're all legends. Peace. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,